Good evening. Beauty experts and doctors are calling on the government tonight to make the cosmetic industry safer. Currently, a lack of regulation means anyone can inject people with Botox or fillers without any medical training. Campaigners say more and more patients are coming to them with horror stories involving disfigurement and scars. They say urgent action is needed, while the head of the NHS has described the industry as a crisis waiting to happen. Here's our health reporter, Victoria Davis, with a special investigation into the cosmetic cowboys. Samantha Jarrett regularly visits this clinic in Kenilworth in Warwickshire to have her lips injected with fillers. This is performed by a reputable practitioner, but previously Samantha was injected by someone with insufficient training, which left her lips deformed. It's like Mick Jagger type, huge, huge proportion of dis, dis, just displaced lips with lumps and bumps, plus you've got all the bruising, the bleeding, they were just unbearable. I had comments being called from a freak from the, on the playground of a school. Have you been in a car accident? Um, just, just an absolute, it was just awful. To the point I couldn't even go out the house. I was getting people to run my kids up to school. Um, it wasn't nice. Samantha's story is not unique. Because of a lack of regulation, anyone can carry out cosmetic treatments. This can often have horrifying results, including burns from laser hair removal and bruising and deformities from botched fillers. But this beauty writer from Birmingham is hoping to change that. Antonia Mariconda is campaigning for the government to bring in tougher regulation to clamp down on cosmetic cowboys. I've seen all sorts of examples of um, aesthetic and beauty treatments going wrong. Anything from poorly trained, um, non-medically qualified professionals injecting cosmetic fillers into people's faces. That's a huge concern at the moment. Illegal tooth whitening, um, badly regulated nail bars where people are just pitching up and performing treatments and damaging people's nails. The trouble is in the industry there is not enough regulation to control who is carrying out the treatments, where and how. To start with, I'm just going to mark where I'm going to inject. This Fine. surgeon and cosmetic specialist regularly sees patients at his clinic in Wolverhampton who have had what's been dubbed backstreet Botox. Some, he says, have been injected in their hair salon, in a friend's home, or even in a nightclub by people with no medical training. It's as simple as having a day course. You can go pay £750 somewhere and you have a certificate after a day saying that you are eligible to go and inject. And can you imagine one day course will allow you to be loose in the world injecting people's faces around the eye, around the lips, around the cheeks with no supervision. How could that be possible? It is a medical product. It has to be dealt with with a medically qualified or a practitioner with a medical background because things go wrong. Non-surgical cosmetic treatments is big business, worth three billion pounds. It now accounts for three quarters of the value of the cosmetic industry, having grown fivefold in a decade, which is why campaigners say regulation is needed to keep patients safe. Many good practitioners are working you know, to the medical laws and it's very frustrating to constantly find out that there are people injecting from their homes, from their garages, from their sheds in their garden. You need to understand the facial anatomy, you need to understand the structures beneath that, you need to know where the arteries, where the veins, where the muscles lie, and you, you need to be very skilled in what you do. The Department of Health will release an official review this month which will outline what it plans to do to keep the cosmetic industry under control. The campaigners say it's vital tough regulation is brought in as they say it's a crisis waiting to happen. Victoria Davis, ITV News.
Well, our health reporter Victoria Davis joins us now. Victoria, uh, your report really does emphasise how little regulation there is. Did it surprise you that anyone can set themselves up and start injecting Botox fillers and heaven knows what? Well, I didn't find it just surprising but shocking that an industry on this scale lacks any form of regulation whatsoever. It really is a case that you or I could pick up a needle. And the problem with no regulation is that we just don't know what people are using to inject others with, whether it's safe, which is incredibly frightening. And even the head of NHS England has said that this is a crisis waiting to happen. Vic, so you've mentioned the uh, campaigners several times. Um, they want change in regulation, but what do they want exactly? So they want anyone who hasn't got any medical training to be banned from using needles and injecting people with derma fillers. They believe it should be done in a safe clinical environment and there should be more training and supervision so people have to reach a certain standard before they can practice and also accountability. So if there anything goes wrong, these practitioners are accountable. Now your report coincides as it happens with a government uh, announcement which is about to be made. What do you think they're going to say? Well, we don't know that really until it's made, but just before the new year, they did make an announcement where they've brought in tough regulations for the cosmetic uh, surgical industry, so things like breast implants. Now we're waiting for their announcement on non-cosmetic surgery, non-surgical cosmetic treatments, mm -hmm. uh, such as derma fillers. And I spoke to the Department of Health today, and they did say that for too long, this industry has been unregulated and that they will map out their plans to clamp down on bad practice and to improve treatment and standards. Victoria, thank you.